Welcome back to a wretched. Um, on the other side of the door, I'm out here in the land of the unredeemed, but God is working a miracle in my heart, granting me repentance and faith, and he takes me through the door, which of course is Jesus, and I enter into the land of the redeemed. What just happened? I done got justified. Justification, remembering that when God saves you, you are justified, seen as righteous because of the work of the door, Jesus Christ. You can't get yourself saved. He brings you into the land of the redeemed. And you need to understand, you can't get yourself back through the door either. So is once saved, always saved biblical? Or can you actually lose your salvation? The answer may surprise you. Well, welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me, it comes directly from God's Word. And before we get started today, would you please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this a thumbs up. And also, if you would, please go to realtalkwithjordan.com and consider donating and supporting this ministry. Because with your help, we can continue making more Real Talk episodes and bringing you more solid content. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at once saved, always saved, and see if it's biblical or if it's pure heresy. Now, before all you keyboard warriors start going crazy and being triggered and start typing up a storm and telling me about your experiences and how much this is heresy, let's get out our Bibles and see what God has to say. Because too many people, they get their theology from experiences, opinions, and feelings which really will land you in the ditch and put you astray from the real issue and the real answer. Also, before we get started, we need to make sure we understand that being biblically saved is not, and I repeat not, repeating a prayer, walking an aisle, making a decision, being sincere, doing a bunch of things, going to church, getting baptized. No, it's not. I want to read you this. I want you to hear this today. Salvation is a sovereign act of God, whereby an unregenerate sinner is washed, renewed, and born again by the Holy Spirit. John 3.3 3 and Titus 3.5. When salvation occurs, God gives the forgiven sinner a new heart and puts a new spirit within him. The Holy Spirit will cause the saved person to walk in obedience to God's word. Ezekiel 36, verses 25 through 27. So are you ready? Let's go. Now we're going to look at seven proofs that once saved, always saved is biblical. And I repeat again, is biblical. Number one, Jesus said all who come to him and all that he saves, he loses none. John 10 verses 27 through 30. Let's read that. It says, quote, my sheep listen to my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they will never, ever perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand. I and the father are one. Did you notice how concrete Jesus was there? He's talking again about salvation. I give them eternal life. They will never perish. And he says, no one will snatch them out of my hand. But then he doubles down and says, the father who is greater than all holds onto him and no one will snatch them from his hand. So think about this a second. If you think you can lose your salvation, you're either saying that God is lying, that Jesus, what he said there was a pure lie, or you think that your situation or your sin or yourself is stronger than God. What's wrong with you people? And I would not want to be in that position to think that kind of thought. Number two, when we are saved, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. I love this. Ephesians chapter one, verses 13 and 14. The Holy Spirit seals us the moment we are saved. And think about this. When the Holy Spirit seals us, it's a done deal. Hallelujah! So if you think you can lose your salvation, you're literally saying that you have the power to undo what the Holy Spirit has done. And again, said no verse ever. 
Come on, man. I mean, if you believe that kind of stuff, that is extremely narcissistic and extremely man-centered. Because salvation is not about what you or I have done. It's about what Jesus did on the cross. Number three, Jesus is the one who justifies, Romans 8, 30. Let's read that a second. It says, quote, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. This verse tells us that from the moment God chooses us, it is as if we are glorified in his presence in heaven. There is nothing that can prevent a believer from one day being glorified because God has already purposed it in heaven. Once a person is justified, his salvation is guaranteed. He is as secure as if he is already glorified in heaven. And Philippians 1, 6 kind of backs this up. I want to use this in this discussion. It says, quote, he who began a good work in you will complete it by the day of Christ Jesus. And I'm going to put this very bluntly. What Jesus starts, he always finishes. So keep that in mind. This is all a gracious, free work of God, not something that we do and not something we earned or deserved. Now, I'm just going to say this because I know where some of you are going right now. You're going, but, 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 you know, I had a friend, I had an aunt, I had a former pastor, you know, and they were serving God. But, uh, you know, now they've rejected God. They live a life of sin. They hate God. They've rejected him. So see, once saved, always saved is not true. They've lost their salvation. Well, that's not true. And the Bible addresses it. The Apostle John in 1 John chapter 2, verse 19 says this, quote, They went out from us, but they were not really of us. For if they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But they went out so that it would be evident that they are all not of us. You have to understand something. If someone has walked away, if someone has denied Christ, someone has rejected and just absolutely went back to their life of sin, it's not anything about them losing their salvation. It is simple proof that they were never saved to begin with. Number four, we are regenerated or born again when we are saved. Again, John 3.3 3 and Titus 3.5. See, believers are born again, born from above, is what John says, and they're regenerated when they believe. So for a Christian to lose their salvation, he would have to be unregenerated. What? So with the work that God did, he'd have to kind of uh, reverse and undo it. The Bible gives not one verse of evidence that the new birth can be undone or taken away. So as we say on this channel, said no verse ever. Bruh. Number five, when we're in Christ, we can never be separated from him again. I love this. Romans 8 verses 38 and 39 says, quote, for I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Did you see that? Nothing can separate us. And it's for those of us who are in Christ, those who Jesus has saved, now we are in him. And he's saying right there, when you are in Christ, you are totally, forever, completely secure. Number six, Jesus saves forever. Hebrews 7.25, it says, quote, Therefore he is able to save forever those who come to God through him since he always lives to make intercession for them. Now, the writer of Hebrews is comparing Jesus to the former high priest who could not save. I mean, they were useless for salvation. But because of Jesus, his sinless life, what he did on the cross, his atoning work on the cross, he is able to save entirely and forever. And he makes intercession for us daily. And I don't know about you, but for me, that humbles me so much that the God of the universe is making intercession for me. I fail him constantly, but he loves me. He holds me with his mighty hand and he intercedes for me day in and day out. Finally, I want to add this. 
When it comes to once saved, always saved, it is absolutely true. And let me be clear, you cannot lose your salvation, okay? Because again, there is no Bible verse anywhere that says a believer can lose their salvation. Now, I know that some of you want to use the story of Judas, but please understand that Judas was not saved. Matthew 26, 24 and John 17, 12 make that very, very clear. But if you also want to try to cite like Hebrews chapter six, verses like two through six, no, that's not the verses. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about unbelievers who knew about God and his power, but were never saved. See, if we could actually lose our salvation, I guarantee you 100% of us would, because we are imperfect people who live in this flesh, who sin daily, who wrestle with sin, and we're fallen by nature. So if we could, again, lose it, we would. But remember this, please hear me today, that salvation is a 100% free gift of God. It's by his choice, by his power, and for his glory.